My name is Josh Elizechi. I'm the CEO of Snow. We're a beauty tech uh, platform. We create products um, mainly in the oral care space. Um, we've been dubbed the Apple of oral care, which is a huge compliment to what we're doing. Uh, we utilize patented uh, technology. Um, we engineer and design everything in-house. We became interested in um, al allowing our customers to customize their product, but also to also sell through asking questions. And so, you know, the quiz format is very engaging um, and it allows us to talk about how our product is different by including uh, the customer. And so taking them through and seeing, you know, what their sensitivity levels are, you know, why they're wanting to wind their teeth, what they tried before, just questions like that so that we understand more about uh, the potential customer, but they're also learning more about our product along the way. And then being able to give them an offer at the end of that is obviously uh, very engaging for conversion rate. You know, we have 2 million monthly shoppers hitting our website and not all of them are ready to buy. In fact, most of them aren't. And so we want to make sure that we're engaging with them. And we found the quiz format to be, um, you know, the most effective way at scale to get our, um, you know, our audience, especially cold traffic, uh, interested in our product, engaging with us, and then obviously capturing their information and, and giving them an offer so that they've got the bait to come back. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go through like uh, Josh's funnel real quick. Um, I'm going to tease the results so you guys can see before we jump into this. So um, they've done over 19,000 leads when we pulled these stats, a 61% conversion rate on the quiz, which is really great. And uh, when you pulled the sales stats for me, $123,000 through the quiz uh, specifically. So um, let's jump into it, Josh. So you guys have uh, this advertised on your site. So it's not uh, quite at the top, but it's down here. Um, so it's something as people are scrolling. Um, so can you describe to me a little bit, how, do you, how are you guys getting traffic to your site? Um, you know, we get traffic. We do a lot of, uh, we work with, you know, hundreds of celebrities, a lot of influencers, um, you know, um, but Facebook ads, Instagram ads are huge for us. Um, we've recently become a top 10 advertiser with Snapchat. Uh, and so one of the things we're excited about this year is to utilize lead quizzes as the actual landing page because we have such a high conversion rate. Um, you know, when they swipe up on Snapchat, getting them to take the quiz and then give them the offer and sending them straight to the sales page, uh, something that we're really, really excited about because of the scale we have on Snapchat. Um, so we put it, right now we have it on the homepage so people gotta scroll a little bit um, and, and uh, they're kind of on the fence. This is a great way to pull them in. Um, but now that we've seen such such great results uh, in, in amazing results in the fact that it's only on the homepage and it's kind of hidden in the bottom. Now it's like bringing it up to the top and putting it in the front of Snapchat ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, getting people engaged and get capturing information uh, up front is, is what we're excited about next. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to jump through the funnel. I'm going to give a little bit of feedback, just some ideas uh, you can take or leave. Um, but we're going to talk about the offer as we go through this. But one of the things you do in the offer is they opt in and then you offer like a discount for them. So like one, one thing I've seen work well for people is if you do something like that, you can put that in the copy, like take this quiz and then get this special offer after the end. So that is a way that you could potentially inc increase the click through rate, but also maybe if you're not offering that discount to everybody, unless they do it, um, you know, maybe that's why you're hiding it. So that's one idea. Another idea is being able to put like an exit intent pop up on here. So you catch anybody that's leaving and then just drive them through the quiz. Um, so a couple ideas. So we're going to click on that. I have these all uh, preset up. This is the quiz Josh has. How much is your lifestyle staining your teeth? Get your results in one minute or less. Um, so it looks really good. Josh, any specific reason why you picked this uh, specific topic uh, for people? Yeah, we, we, we wanted to um, make it something that everybody could fill out and kind of understand, like, you know, a lot of questions we get are, you know, can I drink coffee still? Can I drink soda still? Can I smoke still? And our, our product is effective enough that you don't have to stop smoking, you don't have to stop drinking coffee, but it's a good idea for people to kind of self-diagnose their habits and, and maybe explain why they have stained teeth. And I think that if you explain the why, uh, it's important that image kind of shows coffee, which is kind of the leading culprit for stained teeth, um, next to cigarettes and wine and soda. And so we just wanted to, uh, give, um, the audience an opportunity to understand how their lifestyle is staining their teeth so that they know that, uh, that, that they, that they want to do something about it. One of the things I like about your quiz is that, um, not only like you could, you could easily just offer a discount and capture their email, but you're also collecting data. So when we click in, you ask questions like, what's your gender? Um, how old are you? How often do you drink coffee? Do you drink red wine? Um, Josh, are you, you like, you're collecting a lot of like good information from people. Are you using this at all in either your segmentation or understanding your audience better? 
Yeah, we're doing a little bit of both. So, you know, if they're uh, red wine drinkers, we just did a, we just signed a deal with one of the largest wine clubs. Uh, and so we were able to bring this data to them and say, hey, we have, you know, thousands and thousands of people that have taken this quiz and said they drink red wine and they want to whiten their teeth. So that helped us gain leverage in doing those type of deals. Um, obviously, helps the segmentation and targeting in terms of email marketing. So if someone drinks red wine, um, we're going to send them testimonials from customers who are red wine drinkers and who have seen success with our product. So it's just a lot more catered. Um, and we found that the more catering you do on, the, on customizing the, the, the messaging, the, obviously the conversion rate is going to be much higher because the customer feels like it's a product made just for them. Cool. All right. And so another potential idea for you here is like, as you're going through and you've had a lot of people go through the quiz, maybe you're finding that certain people like women that drink wine are uh, better buyers for you than men that are a certain age. And so um, as you start to collect some of that data, that's something where we have this uh, Facebook pixel integration where you can then start to create custom audiences on it. So that's maybe another idea if you're not using it, it's just really pixeling and going after the highest converting audiences in your, your uh, traffic campaigns. Yeah. So next we go to your opt-in page. So what I love here is that you put in your offer. So get $15 off a teeth whitening kit. Um, and then you only collect email. Um, anything you want to share here, Josh, is there a reason you don't capture name? Yeah. So we use, um, we use a couple third party, uh, um, integrations that as long as we got their email address, we can usually extract their name, their phone number. Uh, we try to make it as, frictionless as possible. I'm sure that if we added, um, you know, if we added name, all that stuff, by this point, people have answered questions or they probably would fill it out, but uh, we wanted to make it just super simple. And really the only piece of information we absolutely need is their email address. We can find all the other information. And then at the end of ordering, we can connect the email address from the survey to their order, um, you know, very easily. And we can see all of their information, billing address, phone numbers, um, all that information. So we're just trying to really get them through, the funnel, getting their email address. Once we've got their email address, we can pixel them, we can market to them. Um, and the name and the, all the other stuff is not as important. And we've already collected stuff like their habits, their birth date, whether they're male or female. So we can, we, those are the data points we need on, on, in our business in order to uh, kind of continue uh, communicating with that customer. Awesome. Okay, so as these stats show over here, you guys had a 61%, almost 62% conversion rate, which is really high. Um, but I think the reason that you guys did is you guys put a really good offer here and you're making it super frictionless where, um, you know, you're only asking for one form field and then just give my answers, which is a pretty good call to action button. So um, once someone fills this out, um, we go to your results page, which is pretty short and sweet right here. Um, again, get, get this money off, uh, use this uh, uh, redeem coupon code, uh, we ship worldwide and you give some basic answers here. So, uh, from there, it clicks through to actually the home page. So that's something where you could just drive them straight to the sales page. Uh, but once they click on the sales page, um, they come over here. You guys have a lot of social proof. Anything you want to tell us about your, your sales page and, and what you guys have worked on here? Yeah, I mean, it's important for us because we've spent so many millions of dollars in developing our product, um, you know, from the patents, the trademarks, and all the research and science that uh, we, we try to use social proof. We try to put some sense of urgency there. We do, um, every time we get stock in, we do a legitimately sell out. Um, and so we wanted to put some social proof, some authority, um, give them multiple payment options, um, give them a, you know, a great offer, um, remind them of some of our key features of what comes with the kit so they know what they're buying. Um, so it's just really kind of a, it's like a mid, uh, mid form. It's not even long form. It's, it's closer to short form than anything, but it kind of takes them through how it works reviews, social proof, authority, sense of urgency, kind of some of the, the, the basic pillars of getting someone to convert um, into a customer. And by this point, one thing we're going to start doing, uh, thanks to your advice, is we're going to send them straight to this page. Um, and we're going to preload the quiz coupon right in here, just in case they forget the coupon code, it'll already be loaded in. Awesome, good ideas. Okay, um, so from here, like I showed these results already, but uh, you guys did over $123,000 in sales um, and over 750 units sold, so really good. Josh, are you doing anything as far as like email marketing for those people that don't buy right away, or targeting or anything there? Yeah, we've got it. I think we've got it integrated with Clavio, um, where we'll start dripping them, you know, uh, testimonials, um, you know, uh, special offers. If this offer is not good enough, we'll hit them with a stronger offer down the line. Um, you know, we generally try to capture the excitement up front. 
one thing we're going to update as well is making the offer a little bit more juicy to match some of the stuff we do on retargeting. So instead of $15 off, doing $25 off, that way we can get them more captivated right up front as opposed to a longer sales cycle. Um, so I just, just from looking at this, this has been helpful for me because it reminds me of a lot of the, the changes we've had even in the last few months that we can make this uh, uh, make the sales conversion rate much higher. I think if we made those changes, we would have at least a 30 to 40%. So that's 30 to $50,000 more sales doing nothing else just by implementing those changes. And then if we were to use some type of exit intent or driving people from Snapchat straight to the quiz, that's going to make that funnel a lot stronger. Um, so I, I would say that um, in terms of the, the discount, um, it's captivating enough right now that people are like, nice, I took a quiz, I'm going to get 15 hours off. I'm, I'm invested now into this product. We've collected their information, so Clavio is going to drip them until they become a customer. Um, but I think that if we're a little bit more aggressive up front and make it easier for them to order right after the quiz, I think that's going to have a huge uplift in conversion rate. Yeah, I think it's a great case study, and like the offer is always one of the biggest things that you could test. I think uh, um, you think about sales, you want people begging you to be able to take their like to buy from you because the offer is so good. So Josh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for sharing uh, all your results. It's my pleasure, Jeremy. You guys have built a phenomenal product and it's been a huge help for us and we're excited to uh, really blow it up this year with what you guys have built.